Bharat Acharya here. Welcome to our new lecture. So today in C programming, we are seeing the third and the final kind of looping that's called a do while loop. So you've seen a for loop, you've seen a while loop. Now we're seeing a do while loop. The main difference between a while and a do while is in while loop, you first check the condition, then do the loop. So there is a possibility that the loop may not be performed even once if the condition fails right in the beginning. But in a do while loop, you first do one iteration, then check the condition. If it satisfied you do it again and again and again if it fails you stop but you still have done one iteration so many times students ask sir where to use a do while what is the particular case for that a do while is used when you are sure that you want to do the operation once and then check whether the user wants to repeat it or not in any case once the operation has to be performed that's when you use do while so i'm going to show you the whole theory of do while then i'll show you Examples, of course, you can learn programming without programming examples and more interesting pro examples you take, the more enjoyable the whole experience is. So I'm going to take a real world example, the example of an ATM cash withdrawal screen. Yes, the screen at which you are withdrawing money. Uh, it can also be applicable to a uh, ATM payments or GPay payments or any of them. They all at that point when you're making the payment, at that point you use a while loop to know whether you do another payment and keep doing this till the time either you run out of balance or you decide you don't want to do it anymore. Anyway, so we'll be using uh, an ATM screen for that. You've seen that. I always use real world practical examples. And you also have to satisfy the college requirements. So you're going to take one more college example. That is factorial. Super popular question. Can be done in various ways. Most colleges use factorial as an example for looping, either a while loop or a do while or any other kind of looping method. So you'll be using factorial as a second example. Now, the whole course is there on the website, bharatacharyaeducation.com. The link is given down below. Click on the link, register yourself as a user. For so you'll see a lot of courses over there. I teach a lot of subjects. Select this course of C programming, click subscribe. As soon as you make the payment, you start learning. About 15, 16 videos are made already. Many more to come. The earlier you join, the faster you learn. Programming is not something that you're gonna learn in one day. A lot of things come together for you to become a programmer. The ability to first understand the question, figure out the logic, write the correct code, the ability to quickly debug codes. Not always your program gives you the correct answer in the first attempt. The more you practice program, the better you get at it. Then what happens is once you cross this basic level of programming and you understand what's going on in programming, whenever you see these real world applications by yourself, Tomorrow, when you're making a payment using Paytm or GPO, any of those interfaces, or you are an ATM machine, you see and you understand what is the coding logic used inside. The more you relate with real world examples, the more you understand how those programs work in your real world. That's the first leg. That's not the end of it. That is the start. Once you can start understanding all of this, then the programmer within you wakes up and makes you believe that given the chance, you can do the same thing much better. Like the updation of the score in a cricket match, uh, the ads, the movement of those movie uh, images that come on your Netflix or Amazon or any platform that you're using. All of that is programming. All of that can be done better and has been improving and will improve by the programmers who are doing it today. To reach that level, you got to start. Stop dreaming. Stop thinking, oh yes, I can do it better. Start doing it. Hope to see you there. Wish you all the best. Do well.